Now, there's no doubt that one of the most recognisable figures on Midlands today over the years has been the inimitable John Yates, a genuine character with a face that simply screamed personality and hard-earned experience, a guy who's been round the block a few times, if you don't mind me saying, John. Well, sad to say, John's had a terrible time of it recently with his health, and he's decided to call it a day. Some tremendous memories, though, and he's been telling me it'll be quite a wrench to leave the BBC after 20 years. You're doing anything for a long time, and it, it will wrench, and I've loved the mechanics of the job. I love meeting the people who I've interviewed. Well, you've got to start somewhere. Oh, I love you. But some people like him. One of the people I enjoyed meeting was Barry McQueen, who was the Ludlow Town Crier. And he was taking part in a, uh, a World Championship Town Crying Contest. And uh, he was going up on Clee Hill to practice because the neighbours said he was too loud. Do you come here often? Yes, I come here quite regularly! Why? I can come up here and shout and bawl to my heart's content. Are you aware that you're one of the most recognised faces on Midlands today? Uh, it's very kind of you to say that. I mean, uh, I, I think if that's true, my face is my misfortune, isn't it? it uh, uh, matinee idol look alike, I'm not, but it, it, it's, it's sort of seen me through a few years. It's and... charisma, John. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly is the problem, do you think? Well, he just doesn't like winning. Well, the last pieces I did were, was a series called Greatest Midlander, which I believe got something like 33,000 people voting. And uh, when the idea was first mooted, I think most of us, and uh, I, I know you said to me, well, it's going to be Shakespeare, isn't it? To my surprise and, uh, and delight, RJ won it hands down. Do you yeah. miss your colleagues? Yes, yes. I mean, you, you're with them for 20-odd years, aren't you? The older ones, the more mature ones. And, um, of course, you do, yes, you do miss them. Well, as the actress said to the vicar, that just about covers it. Bye, night. What were you laughing about then? I really can't reveal that. Oh, right, I see. He has got the dirtiest <laughs> laugh this side of the Welsh border. It certainly he? has, hasn't he? Gosh, Who am I, I going like to be a... rude about now? Well, I don't know. Don't look at me, Very though, will you? <laughs> a significant loss to our landscape. He is, isn't he? I, I did like his Robin impression there, so that was pretty good. Yeah. He certainly got away with animals there. Yeah. I didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, good luck, mate. Yeah, absolutely, John. Now to the weather with Simon. And as you mentioned earlier, it's a tense time as he's waiting for his second baby to arrive. Yeah, he's up on the roof for the forecast, <laughs> looking out, I should think, for any white smoke. Can you see any, Simon? I can't see any just at the moment, Nick, but I'm keeping my eyes out. I can't quite see words in hospital. No, the reason I'm up here is to avoid the screams. As you can see, I'm up on the roof here at Pebble Mill. Behind me, we've got the city centre. And just over here, we've got Edgebaston as well. Some fantastic views from up on the roof here. And really, it's a nice evening to get out. It feels quite warm out here. Temperature's about 16.